time to pull the trigger of a hot glue gun and introduce to you amazing life hacks and crafts using a hot glue gun. Let's make an interesting plate for fruits and candy in a Book of the Jungle style. We'll need two plates of different diameters and some plastic animals from the same set. Glue together four animals. That will be the base for our plate. Glue the big plate on top. Add a couple more animals on top of the plate. Then finish the composition with another smaller plate. A great decorative piece for your dinner table. Do you like drawing but don't know where to store all your pens and pencils? Let's make a cute pencil case out of an old stuffed puppy. Make a cut in the fabric. Take out some of the stuffing. We're going to need a zipper. Place it on the case and secure it with hot glue. Also with hot glue, we can fix the puppy's leg too. Done! Now the puppy isn't just a cute toy, but also a functional case for all kinds of stationery. Let's make a fun curtain holder out of this stuffed horse. We'll need some Velcro tape. Cut out a small circle of Velcro. Hot glue parts of the Velcro under the legs of the toy. Close the curtains and hook them with the horse. Look how tight the horse holds the curtains. And the room becomes full of light. And for this life hack, we'll need a disc made of wood or polywood with a hole in the center and a bunch of Kinder toys. Paint the disc white. Position the toys on the disc in a circle, making it look like a clock face. Secure them on with hot glue. Add a clock mechanism. We just made a very cute clock that would fit nicely in the children's room. Don't throw away the top covers of your boxes just yet. We can make a pretty collage out of them. We'll need a few box covers of different sizes and some matching craft paper. Measure the size of our box on the paper, leaving an allowance of about one and a half or two centimeters. Fold the edges of the paper so that it fits in the cover. Place it in and glue the edges. Decorate a few more covers the same way. Now we apply some glue to the sides of the covers and stick them together. You can get creative with their placing. We can put some pictures inside and turn it into a vision board. Attach a string to the back so that we can hang our collage on the wall. It's easy to make and looks gorgeous. We can even find a new purpose for these unused buttons. Let's make a cup coaster. Pick out some flat buttons that will match your setup. Look at their size, shape, and color. Once you are satisfied with your buttons, glue them all together. We get a colorful button cloud. Now we have a cool coaster for our hot tea. In the next life hack, we'll show you how to reuse your coffee stir sticks. Place two sticks at about five centimeters apart. Glue a few smaller pieces to make a fence-like base. Take three other sticks, place them parallel to each other. Stick some more equally spaced pieces to the construction. We get this stockade. Make two identical stockades and glue them vertically to the base. Look, it's a napkin holder. Fast and easy. Let's decorate our home with a real piece of art that we are going to make ourselves. For building a musical clock, we'll need an old vinyl record. With the help of a paper template, draw on hot glue, some musical notes, and symbols on a glass screen. Paint them in different colors. Arrange the pieces on the clock face. Attach a clock mechanism from an old alarm clock. Even Mozart couldn't dream of this piece of art. The dragonfly is an elegant and graceful creature. Let's reproduce that elegance with a pretty dragonfly hairpiece. We'll need a piece of aluminum foil. 
Press out a dragonfly silhouette with a pencil tip. Repeat the contour with a hot glue gun. We'll also want to add some glitter and rhinestones to make our dragonfly shiny. With the help of a pencil, place some rhinestones on a fresh drop of hot glue. Decorate the body and wings with glitter. Attach the dragonfly to an invisible hairpin. Let's make a few more of those pins. Add the dragonfly to your hairstyle. See how beautiful and shiny your hair looks? A spider! It's so big! It almost looks real! Don't panic! Everything is under control! We'll show you how to make a spider using hot glue and some toothpicks. Get some toothpicks and break them in half. Place them in groups of three to form the legs of the spider. Join the toothpicks using hot glue. Make eight legs and two front pelts. Next, apply some cream to a piece of foil and draw on it with hot glue the body and head of our spider. Let it dry. Now, we can attach the legs and palps to the body. Almost done! Cover it with some spray paint. We've got ourselves a very intimidating spider. Let's go give someone a good scare. This toothy monster looks like a predator flycatcher plant. But that's just on the outside. On the inside, he's a very kind and he likes candy. We're going to make him using an ordinary tennis ball. Take the ball and mark out the opening for the mouth with a marker. Then, cut it out with a stationary knife. Make the teeth on a glass covered with some cream. Cover them with white paint or lacquer. Glue the teeth to the ball. It already looks scary. Next, draw out the lips on the ball with some hot glue. Draw some leaves and vines. Find a nice twisted branch and attach it to the ball, attaching it with some hot glue. Add some vines to the branch. Cover our flycatcher with some green acrylic paint. Paint all overhangs and patterns in a different shade of green. Paint the lips in red. All that's left is to put our predator plant in a pot. Get a decorative pot and fill it with a cement mixture. Place the flycatcher in the pot and leave the mixture to dry. The flycatcher looks very scary. But don't let the scary looks fool you. It's actually a very nice plant. Oh, your ice cream has fallen down. No, this kind of good is not lying on the road. It's just a stopper for the door. You will make it from hot glue and improvised materials. You need a sheet of yellow foam foameran. Fold the sheet with a cone. Attach the edge with a piece of paint tape. Cut off the corner. Evenly distribute the hot glue throughout the surface. Draw the cells like on a waffle cone. With a hot glue gun, draw a cloud on the glass. Fill the contour with hot glue. Extrude hot glue in the form of a cascade of circles. Glue the cone to the upper circle. Color the workpiece with acrylic paints. Place it under the interior door. A waffle cone in melted ice cream is a functional and original stopper. Do you like sweets? What about the original earrings in the form of sugar candies? Put the earring fixture and the wooden stick on the foil lubricated with cream. Connect them with a circle of hot glue. Move in a spiral and fill the middle of the circle with glue. Make two such pieces. Ground the earrings with pink acrylic paint. Draw the spiral curls with white paint. Sweet earrings will decorate your ears. Very beautiful! For the next craft, you need foil and golden glitter. Pour the glitter on the foil. Extrude hot glue on the glitter. Cover it with foil and iron it. It turned out a brilliant pancake made of hot glue. Cut out a heart. Glue it on the metal base for the ring. Brilliant! Handmade jewelry will make you the star of any party. Black elastic bands for hair are boring and completely uninteresting. Decorate them with cute raccoons, which will not leave anyone indifferent. Apply a transparent glass to the printed picture of a raccoon. Lubricate the surface with cream and begin to create a masterpiece. With the help of a hot glue gun, follow the contour of the picture along its side. 
Draw the traits of the face using a black marker. Draw most of the painting in white. Add dark shades. Draw blue pupils and a red tongue. To make sure the raccoon doesn't get bored, let's make him a friend. With the help of hot glue, attach the animals on elastic bands. We decorate your hair with raccoons. Look how funny they rock on your pigtails. Put a like and subscribe to Trim Trim Select. Don't forget to click on the bell to watch our new videos first.